So flanked on each side of the visible spectrum, on the one side of red, we have infrared, and on the other side of violet, we have ultraviolet. I know you've heard of ultraviolet because that's what we have to protect ourselves from the sun from getting a sunburn. Now on the other side of that, we have x-rays, which are high energy, and gamma rays, which are even higher than that. Now the one thing I want to point out, because it's going to become important later in the lesson, is, and I'm going to do an entire lesson on the electromagnetic magnetic spectrum another day. But for now, just know that it consists of waves which can differ in wavelength. So we have long waves over here, and when I mean wavelength, I mean these are uh, waves that oscillate, right? And in space and in time. And so the wavelength, which we call lambda, is the distance over which a wave begins to repeat. So notice it goes up, down, and it begins to repeat again. That's one wavelength. And it's literally measured in meters, okay? So these waves over here are very long. This is like a, uh, this is 100 meters, this is like 1,000 meters over there, and even longer. And then we have centimeters, which are in your microwave. So the microwave oven has little centimeter length waves. And then we have visible, which are uh, basically, this is measured in uh, billionths of a uh, meter. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. I have another slide. And then we have even shorter and shorter and shorter. But notice that as the wavelength gets shorter, because the wave is actually getting shorter, then the frequency, which is on the top, gets, is getting bigger. So frequency is how much something is oscillating. And you can see over here, it's not oscillating very much, or, or very fast, so to speak. But over here, these gamma rays and x-rays are oscillating very, very, very fast. So the uh, wavelength and the frequency are, they go opposite of each other. As the wavelength gets longer, the frequency gets, uh, uh, or the wavelength gets bigger, the frequency gets lower and lower because it's not oscillating much. And as the wavelength gets very, very small, the frequency gets very, very, very fast. All right? Learn anything at mathandscience.com.